Hello everybody. Today I'm going to share a short breath practice instruction on Kapalabhati or skull shining breath. Before you start this breath or this practice, you'll want to have a Kleenex nearby so that you can blow your nose uh, before you start the practice. I did that before this video. I didn't think I want to share that on the video. Find a place where the spine can be long, chest lifted, a place that's comfortable for you. Today, I'm sitting in Virasana. I'm on a block, placing it between the ankle bones, then moving the fleshy part of the calves out to the sides as I sit back, sit bones only on the block. Hands on the thighs, either up or down. I usually press down to help me lift the chest a little more. Once you've found that place of comfort and a place where the chest can be broad, you should know that Kapalabhati breath or skull shining breath should not be practiced if you have high blood pressure or glaucoma. You should also be having a regular yoga posture practice. All right, so let's begin. In this particular practice, it's a long inhale and then a forceful exhale and a hold at the end of the exhale. So let me show. So I'm using my abdominals when I'm creating that forceful exhalation. Today we're going to practice on this video, we're going to do 10 rounds together. But if you're just starting this practice, you might want to start with just five. Practice once a day, either in the morning or the evening. And then as you develop the practice more, maybe in a month or two or three, depending on how you feel, then you could start doing the practice a couple of times a day, in the morning and in the evening. But allow yourself to practice. Make this practice your own before you start moving into further advanced stages of it. Now let's practice together. In your position with the spine erect, jaw soft, let the tongue be soft. I'm gonna start with the resurrection breath. Inhale, double exhalation to the left, inhale to the center. This is a symbol to the universe. I'm starting over from this moment. go of the practice and then just coming into your own natural breath and then as we do with most practices in yoga we want to take some time to feel the after effects of the practice so I hope this video was informative for you or maybe a reminder of the practice that you've done with me before in class or that you've learned somewhere else. There might be other videos online where you can get more information, but this was just meant as a brief introduction. Have a good day. Namaste.